Uh, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to Flying Dutchman videos. Uh, this is video 10 of my uh, Bioshock Infinite walkthrough slash playthrough slash let's play whatever you want to call it. We are uh, headed back to our uh, First Lady airship after we successfully got uh, the shock jockey vigor off of uh, Booker's old pal uh, General? Colonel? Captain? Slate? I don't know. At any rate, uh, he went mental. We got the vigor. That's kind of all that matters. <laughs> Uh, persuasion digger or whatever it's called is a very powerful tool but consequently it's also very expensive uh, assault wise so I, I guess in, in normal it makes sense to uh, invest in that vigor if you're playing 1999 mode um, I, I don't know like 1999 mode uh, when I first heard about it I thought uh, it would be compared to normal it'd be very hardcore and you like actually have to make hard choices that would yeah, like limit your gameplay to okay. a particular style, but it doesn't seem that way. Uh, it more seems in the way that you have so uh, such a limited amount of money that you need to like you can only buy certain things. And uh, if if you're the guy, if you're the kind of player that like likes to uh, stay at a standoff and like manipulate his enemies, then maybe. Uh, Investing in the like that kind of vigor is, is a smart idea. But as it stands in normal, you can pretty much just uh, go <coughs> go wild because you're pretty much guaranteed to have like at multiple points in the game have more than enough money to uh, to spend on stuff. I think at multiple points in the game I had something like four thousand uh, eagles or whatever it's called. I was a bit of a dumbass here and just. Totally missed the uh, <laughs> the shock chalky generator. It's literally to the right of me. I just didn't see it for the longest time. So this is doing a bit of backtracking here, back to the outside of the uh, Hall of Heroes uh, floating island area thingy. There we go. But of course there's uh, tons of enemies here, so Slate's boys fighting uh, for Com Comstock's flying squad. And of course they're all shooting at us, so don't spare anyone. If you're uh, in more inclined to sit back, you can watch them duke it out. But like, there's only two or like maybe four of Slate's men versus a whole lot of these uh, coppers. So that's not going to turn out too well for them. It's not going to do that much. Of a, not going to make that much of a dent in uh, Comstock's forces here anyway. You're better off using the uh, making a tear, and calling in one of those uh, mosquito turrets. They're fairly vulnerable, but like. At least against normal uh, unarmored enemies, they're fairly powerful. So they do mount like a mean machine gun. Um, the shock jockey machine I talked about earlier that you could open and it would, uh, you could activate and it would open a door is to our right, like to the extreme uh, at, at the end of like the of the area. There's a emergency door there with a shock jockey generator right next to it. And a staircase leading upstairs. We could, as I said, get uh, <coughs> get a voxophone and some stuff. So if you're trying to collect them all, uh, by no means is it like, like especially not this video, but this is by no means a, a collectible guy. But like, I, whenever I uh, come across that stuff, I like to call it out anyway. Yeah. 
good idea to call in uh, the motorized patriot here. It's, uh, it's generally good, at, like, aside from the combat benefits, it's a good idea to call them in whenever you have the chance because uh, it does net you an achievement. And strangely enough, like, uh, I didn't, I don't think I got it in my first playthrough even. So it does take, like, you need to, your, uh, stuff you need, I, I, I think it's uh, for everything you can call in through a terror that, like, actively aid you in killing enemies. You need to get uh, a number of kills. I, I think it might be 30 or more, but for some reason it took me a while. Yeah, those uh, <laughs> Skyhook executions are a bit, a bit graphic. <laughs> so that's everyone on the uh, statue island. Whoa. They're still not doing too much there. So it's nothing that if you like uh, particular vigors, it's uh, you might want to keep an eye out. It's not even guaranteed you're going to get them, but you keep an eye out for. Uh, gear you get which uh, gives those vigors bonuses because you have um, I think it's also an upgrade for uh, for shock jockey but you have vigors that turn uh, uh, shock jockey and uh, devil's kiss into chainable attacks so if you kill someone you'll explode or let out a burst of electricity or fire that will damage other enemies and that will chain together so with certain uh, gear combinations you can create very uh, very powerful uh, vigor based attacks so keep an eye out for them if you uh, find yourself basing your gameplay on a lot of uh, on a lot of vigor I see him. Take it. much obliged The icon appears over his head. He's about to uh, go suicide on you. So uh, get some distance between uh, between you and the uh, fireman. So fast forwarded through this because I uh, spent a little too much time just uh, snooping through the area, trying to find stuff. Obviously, as I had already been here once, it's not that much to find. Still, though, uh, if you ha if you hadn't gotten the uh, the Vox cipher in uh, the rest in the restaurant restroom, I'll say it again: the the cipher is in the restroom, and the code book to it is in the cannon in the building we're in now. It's like right in the muzzle of the cannon, so you can't really miss it. Well, you can miss it if you're not like purposely looking for it, but still, it's fairly easy to find. And that will make you some, uh, some hidden stuff. I, I believe it also has, also has a Vox phone in that little area. Again, the uh, the riddle for that cipher involves something with tipping the hat, and there's a uh, there's a hat hung on the wall or something in that restroom. You can you can move it, and that will um, that will open the secret compartment door. Didn't know why. Uh, didn't know why I didn't take that uh, uh, machine gun, or pepper mill. I believe it's called in, uh, in here instead of the Gatling. So to disguise okay, this loading sequence, we'll have a nice little chat with Elizabeth. I always thought of them as doors. When I was younger, I didn't just open the ones I found. I remember making them. Making them. I could go wherever I wanted. I always wanted to come back. So this is like, uh, this is where the game starts to uh, tell the player that there's some real uh, multiple words and worlds uh, shit going on here. Some real heavy uh, quantum mechanic or quantum physics. What did that teach you? That there's a world of difference between what we see and what is. So 
So we're back in uh, Soldier's Field again. And our objective now is to get to the gondola at the far end, which will, now that we have Shock Jockey, uh, take us up to the first lady's airship. Also, uh, I talked about this earlier. This building we're facing now, or we're just facing, uh, has a balcony, and on that balcony is a Shock Jockey machine, which will give you access to this room. I'll show you now. Yeah, something didn't entirely work out for these uh, Vox guys. <laughs> A lot of uh, money and uh, ammo can be found in here. I saw Voxophone on the bed I very nearly missed, so <laughs> do watch out for that. Seems like this was uh, Preston Down's house, and the Vox tried to kill him, which uh, went kind of south for them. Vox boys here with their pig stickers. That's one scalp to me. That's two. Now, when you hear this, I want you to square your affairs and come die in the side of the poets. You'll need a white man's weapon. Wonder what he means with the side of the poets, though. Stuff here that'll come in handy later on. Sniper rifle and a rocket launcher. Predictably, uh, Comstock's finest are not just going to let us get to the First Lady airship without a fight, so uh, be sure you're prepared for this. Maybe change out some uh, gear, get your stuff in order. So even on normal, this is a fa fairly challenging fight. I took too many risks, and as you'll see, I, I'll, I'm, I'll die like two times or something like that. So do watch out. Dying is not the end of the world, because it will just cost you some money. It's not really that impactful, but... Elizabeth doesn't really uh, realize that Booker might have a different agenda from hers. It's not at this point. Elizabeth! So, as you round that corner, make sure you uh, activate that motorized Patriot and it'll take care of some business for you. I failed to do this, but you can actually, like, if you're on this uh, part of the skyline, you can hook up to the, uh, the aerial barge and take some, uh, out some of these assholes. Be, be careful, though, because, uh, well, this guy has a rocket launcher. I don't know what she apologized for there, but, okay.
if you uh, look carefully, you see that you can actually uh, blow up the uh, Barnstormer projectiles with uh, your weapons. Didn't know where that guy came from, but apparently I just got blindsided by someone. Careful though, because the uh, Motrash Patriot comes from a pair, so if you activate something else like the uh, machine gun turret, the Patriot pretty much just disappears. If you have like a uh, gear that does area of effect damage, if you uh, land from a skyline, this is a very good spot to use it. Pretty much take out these guys on the uh, on the bar just near instantly if you uh, have that kind of stuff equipped. Notice that you can use Z on the uh, what is that? on the on the barnstormer slash the RPG to uh, pop up a optical sight, which can use to be a bit more accurate. Not that it matters much because you can easily take out uh, the patient with what uh, the kind of ammo they just gave you. Take out these last two jokers, and uh, that's pretty much it. Can help me out with this lock. I'll give it a whirl. Stop. I still don't know how the barnstorm works exactly because this seems to be a large spring and some kind of canister, but how does that make missile come out? Or a rocket. When you're unconscious on the beach, you kept repeating a woman's name. Anna. I don't want to talk about that. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have pried. Where are you from, Mr. Dwight? New York. What did you do there? Business much like this. Something that really caters right in with the resume. It was a fine thing you came along when you did. <laughs> How do you think I ended up here? I gambled. And now I owe money to men you don't want to be in debt to. I come here to pay it back. Me busting you out. What do you think that was? Charity? Who sent you? Somebody who was willing to take my marker in exchange for you. Well, now she knows she might not be getting out of Colombia that easily. Well, she's getting out of Colombia, but where she'd be going next is, uh, is a question. I don't think that that's ever clarified, though. Well, of course it's clarified, though, but I can't talk about that, because that's part of the story again. Seems fairly standard Bioshock stuff uh, up until now, but it's going to get very, very weird. Might want to get your thinking cap on and uh, figure all of that stuff out once you're at the end. I just want to reiterate like how good some of the, like some a lot of the of the design in this game is just look at all this stuff like someone spent time on this like. I 
apparently uh, Colombia's travel agents don't really like uh, the customers all that much or trust them, I should say. Keeping uh, big ass shotguns under the desk. Nice. You don't need to watch these if you don't want to, uh, if you're after achieving. Uh, they had a little, nice little touch to the uh, background story. That's actually a place we'll uh, end up in a few hours, I suppose. But Again, figures into the story I, in a way I can't tell you about. <coughs> So, looks like they call you the false shepherd. Elevator yeah. conversations. Let's not call each other that. <laughs> Major uh, storytelling device. You Either they've got a profit on their side. Har har. Or them that hired me also wrote the signs. Why? Got me. Well, that's the first uh, sign that something fishy is going on with uh, Booker's employees. I have ulter ulterior motives for uh, getting him into Colombia. So that's been it for this tenth part of my uh, Let's Play. Hope you enjoyed it. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think about the videos. Yell at me. I don't know. Just it helps more than you right. think. And that's been it. I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, later. It's up to you now. No one. Wait, what is that? 40 north by 74 west. That's not Paris, that's New York. How did you know that? One thing I had in that tower was time, Mr. DeWitt. Time to study things like geography. I owed money. And there's a fellow who... He offered to wipe away my debt in exchange for you. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Everything's gonna be okay. Will you just turn around and talk to me and we can- <laughs>